Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to my video of the Aether Elemental collab. So we in Discord, and by we I mean 12 of us, um, came together and collabed. It was started by, um, her name on Discord is Monilla, I believe. Um, and she had this idea and we all jumped in and said, yeah, we want to run with it. And, um, so here we are. <laughs> um, so I picked magic and all the other people in the collab will be linked down below. Now is the time that I talk about how much of an idiot I am. <laughs> Um, so why I'm an idiot and why you only see my final piece here is because I filmed five hours of progress to do a speed paint and I saved it. So I thought since I saved it in my, um, my editing software, as a project not as a video for youtube but as a project i thought oh well i can delete all over 70 gigabytes of video that i just edited because i don't need it anymore so i deleted it and I, I was like okay now that i've saved it and i deleted all those files i'll come back and do a voiceover when my house is more quiet and so I came back, I opened up my video editing software, I went to load the file, and it says none of the video segments can load. Great, I already deleted them, like permanently deleted, not like they're sitting in my recycle bin. There was too many items for my recycle bin and I said okay to permanently deleting clips all the clips uh. so <laughs> instead of you seeing how I started this process I guess I'll just explain it and keep this video really short um, so I started by drawing the image and the image did evolve a little bit I had a thumbnail that I sketched and um, I thought, oh, well, this cave would be cool, full of crystals, because I know with magic, I don't know with magic, in my head, I think, with magic, I don't know for sure, because I don't know anyone that does magic, and I don't really know anything about magic, but in my head, I was like, oh, people that practice magic and energy and all of that use crystals and different stuff um, to... I was thinking to summon stuff so that's where kind of my inspiration in my mind came from and um, DJ Ruby I think that's her name her link will be down below um, <laughs> she was also in the collab I think she did the dark element I'm trying to think off the top of my head I think so um, but she offered to um, use all these keywords. So how these elements were decided was there was this um, image found, um, I think on DeviantArt, and it was like a pie chart, and it was in 12 different slices, and each had the element, and in the element, it had um, keywords. For each one so off of those keywords she offered for anyone who is interested to look up different crystals and gems and stuff that relate to those keywords so i said yes please do that because i have this crystal cave idea and that would be awesome to incorporate specific crystals instead of just random crystals i make up so the crystals i chose from the list that she provided for me were pyrite which is the gold looking ones um sapphire and aquamarine are the ones that 
spoke to me and I chose. And her necklace, I did attempt to do a small leopard skin jasper, but it was so small I couldn't get detail on there, but that's kind of what I was going with with that. Um, so like my process for drawing is very similar to my process for creating stories. I don't write a lot, but when I do, I create these characters and the characters are what lead the story. I provide prompts kind of thing and the characters in my head kind of lead the story. And it's similar with my art is I let the character that I'm drawing kind of lead the story. I might have start out with this idea, but it'll evolve a little bit as I'm drawing um, just because of what I feel like the character wants. I know I feel like that sounds a little crazy, but it's that's part of my process and I think it works for me. <laughs> um, but so I originally in the thumbnail, I had this crystal cave. I had her standing. I had her... Um, in like a maxi kind of tunic type dress with long flowy sleeves and as I was drawing this um, I just kept feeling like no um, she doesn't want sleeves and she wants to be sitting for this um, so that's how I drew her and uh, and how that evolved and um, so now my process, uh, a lot of my shadows have purple in them. I, I chose purple for shading because in my little um, pie section, <laughs> pie slice of the chart, um, it was highlighted in purple. I don't know if they purposely highlighted the colors, if the cl colors had anything to do, but purple's my favorite color anyway. So... Um, blues and purples are what I used to deepen the shadows in the cave and to deepen the shadows on the um, like the pyrite and the other crystals and stuff um, and so I started out with watercolor pencils dry to dry so dry paper dry pencils and I sketched in or colored in um, a little bit of detail what where I want general colors like where what blues I want where and the um, I, I started with the pyrite with yellow ochre and um, just lightly making a light base like the lightest colors of the cave were like what I had for the base of the all over color in the cave and then I added shadows later and then so once I had the color base where I liked it um, and it was very simple I didn't put a lot of detail in it because the detail was going to come later with this new technique I wanted to try um, so I used water and a brush and I blended those all out and I let that dry and then once it was dry I went in and this was no swirls although the blue and green swirls were not until the end so this was just cave crystals person I went in and I layer by layer I made details with my Prismacolor pencils and um, once I ha was happy with a layer I went with um, odorless mineral spirits and blended it out and then I went in and then once that was dry I did another layer of pencils and I think I did three or four layers of colored pencil and then blending it out with the odorless mineral spirits before I moved on to the magic swirls um, so with the magic swirls and I guess I could have done this with more colored pencils, but I didn't think of that until I was making this voiceover. And so while painting, I like to make things harder on myself. Maybe it was a good choice. I will never know because I already did this. But what I did was I took my white acrylic paint, 
um, like the cheap stuff, the bottle that you get for 50 cents at Walmart. That's what I use for my acrylic paint for highlights and stuff. Um, and I, with a pencil, I kind of drew out where I wanted the swirls to go. And then I painted them in very like with um, watered down white acrylic. And then I kind of dabbed it because I wanted these um, swirls to be kind of mist-like, kind of transparent. Um, you can see the cave and her hand through it. Like that's where I was going with it. So I laid down this white base and then since I can't lay, and I did that because I want, I thought, oh, well, I can get watercolors really transparent. But now that I have all these colored pencils on there, um, I, with the wax, I can't lay, um, wax and the colored pencils, I can't lay watercolor on top of that. It just wouldn't work. So I thought that laying down a layer, a thin layer of acrylic paint and then layering, the watercolor on top of that would get the effect I wanted and it did um, but the effect might have been easier or quicker if I had just done it with colored pencils but I don't know I really like how it turned out so uh, so once that really light water um, not watercolor but white um, acrylic was down and I dabbed it so it was still white but transparent then I started laying on the, um, the watercolor and um, I laid it thick in some places to try to show dimension and shade and I, um, I, it wasn't looking as, um, as good as I wanted it. So to provide a little bit more structure, a little bit more dimension, I did go in with um, more colored pencils on the edges of the swirls. So I matched my um, color, green colored pencil as closely to the green that I had laid down for my watercolor and the same with the blue. And I also um, used a dark brown um, colored pencil to add some more dimension and shading to the swirls. And then I did blend those ever so slightly with the odorless mineral spirits again just so it wasn't a hard line around the edges but more of a it's meant to be part of that and um so yeah that's my whole process I'm sorry I don't get to show it to you in a speed paint um I was very excited but I do have more speed paints coming up and I hope you enjoy all the other um, pieces that um, that the other channels have created for this for this collab and um, I love seeing everyone's creativity and creativity and working with fellow artists this has been a really fun collab and I will see you in the next video bye